Morning everyone, I'm back. Have you missed us? Give us a shout out if you're in the room. Let us know if the music's too loud or not loud enough. And I'll set it for you. Um, I'll give everyone a minute or so to come in. It's not quite 11 o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock, sorry. Um, whilst I'm waiting for everyone, I'll get the boring stuff out of the way. So you're all exercising at your own risk. I can't see or provide feedback. So listen to the coaching points that we give. Uh, look at the visuals. If you feel any pain or discomfort, have yourself a seat and rest. If it continues, maybe seek some medical attention. Morning, Christine. Um, you'll need some tins or hand weights if you've got them. Obviously, have a drink, water, sugar-free juice, that type of thing. If you need any medication, have it close to hand, like asthmas, uh, GTN spray, that type of stuff. Make sure the room's well ventilated. I've got the, the side door out of the back garden out to let a bit air in. You need some space as well, because we'll be moving about. And obviously send some of clothing and footwear. Morning Trevor, morning Ken, morning Gav. Few people in already, that's good. So normal routine, if I can remember it, it feels like I haven't been here in ages. So we'll do a good warm up to begin with, get the body prepared. Then I've got eight exercises lined up. We'll do 45 seconds on each one, go through them twice. Three different levels offered at each uh, circuit station. And there's also 15 second changeover time if you want to do a bit more. And then we'll have a nice cool down. Everyone happy with that? Right, let's get started. I'll move my equipment out the way to begin with. Okay, so we're gonna warm up to begin with. So drop down into a good start position. Feet shoulder width, a bit softness in the knees and think of that core, trunk area, stomach tight, shoulders back, chin up. And very gentle march. Not too high with the knees. I'll turn the side on to show you. And all we're gonna do is mobilize the joints to begin with. So roll those shoulders back. Couple more and relax and then roll them the opposite way. Keep that going folks. So this bit shouldn't be too hard. We're just loosening the joints off, preparing the body for the hard work that's coming up later. Okay, let's change our feet movement. Take it into a side step and we'll just work the arm and the shoulder a little bit more by bringing that across the body. Good stuff. From there, we'll loosen the neck a little bit to get the head to follow the arms. And then just drop it back down into that march. From there, put the hands down on your hips. And let's circle those hips as if we've got a hula hoop there. Keeping the knees soft. Change direction. We'll change again. As big as circles if we can. And then we're going to take it down to the knee. It's a little knee lift below hip height for this bit. These will reappear in the circuit, but we'll be working a bit harder when we do that bit. And then we're going to work the ankle into that heel day. So a little step out, heel on the floor, toe up to the ceiling. Get that coordination check in, opposite arm to the leg that's moving. And then just bring both arms in. Champion. Give everything a little shake and then march it out. A bit more of a power march now. We're going to do the pulse rate. I take the heart rate up. So I'm using my arms a little bit more. Legs are coming up just a little bit higher. From there, take it and kneel it. Both hip height or below. Opposite hand coming across from a low position if we can. This is where we start to get a little bit warmer. Breathe a little bit deeper, get that heart rate up. Change it to a hamstring curl. Flick them up at the back. Again, get a bit of a push and pull going with the upper body if we can. Fantastic. Drop it back down into that march. What we'll do this time is just add a little bit of travelling in. So we'll move forward and back and we've got that space around with. Let's march forward for four. Hold it on the spot. Take it back. On the spot again. Then we're going to change it into those knee lifts. Off we go. Opposite hand from the low position to the opposite knee. Let's take it forward with these lifts everyone. And hold. Take it back for four. Hold it here. Straight into hamstring curls. Flick them up at the back. Bring it forward. On the spot. And reverse it back. 
Ball it on the spot, everyone. And then just drop it down in a little power march. So we should have warmed up a little bit there, that heart beating a bit faster. We'll have a little stretch off and then go into the hard work. So I'm going to turn side on. Left leg first, we'll do a hamstring stretch. Heel on the floor, curl that toe up to the ceiling and then bend forward at the hips and you'll feel a little stretch down here. That's your hamstring. Don't bounce, hold it nice and tight and breathe all the way through the stretch. Nice and steady, should I say. Okay, come out of that and again another little march. Just going to turn to the other side as we do the opposite leg. Feet on the floor, top the ceiling, bend forward. And when we feel that little pull there, just hold it at that point. Like I say, don't hold your breath either, breathe all the way through. Good posture on the top half of the body. Fantastic, give those legs a shake. March it out just to get the heart rate back up. We'll do a couple of upper body stretches and we're good to go. We'll start with the back, so turn side on. One hand in front of the other, chin down into the chest and imagine you're hugging a big tree trunk. Stretch those big back muscles off. And from there we're slowly going to come out that stretch, get our posture back and then work the chest. So palm the hands down to the bottom of the back, squeeze those elbows closer together and feel a nice stretch across the chest. Open that body up. Fantastic, shake it off. Let's just have a quick re-warm. Drive through with a power march. Five, quicker, four, even quicker we can, three, two, and one. Well done, okay, keep the feet tapping everyone. Grab yourself a drink, we'll have a little 30 seconds breather in between. Keep the feet moving, pumping the blood around the body, get some fluids on board. Right, you're going to need your tins for the first one. Are we good to go? Three levels for each one. Start with level two, I'll check that clock's work. Calf raise with a shoulder raise. So coming up onto the toes, arms up to about shoulder height. Level one, we'll drop into the chair. Level three is more of that squat and kettlebell swing. So on the squat, the weight comes down to the heels, take the bum out, control the movement on the way up and down. 20 seconds to go. We've got two laps to go, so find the right level, don't peak too early. Got to get to that finish line, folks. Ten seconds to go. Oh, the question is, will I get to the finish line? Been away for two weeks on me halls. Let's see if it's done anything to be fitness. Three, two, one. There's the first one done. Shake it off. Fifteen seconds change over time. You can have a drink. You can keep going a little bit longer, everyone. Again, we need the tins for the next one. Keep the feet tapping in between. Right, knee lift. Let's go. Up your hip height, come down with the arms. That's level two. Level one's in the chair. Level three, we'll add a bit of an impact in. Just be aware that will put an extra strain on the joints. If you get any knee or hip pain, take the impact out. We do have a level two and a half on this one. We can travel forward and take it back. So a few options for you here to get to the right level. Should be breathing deeply, feeling warm, but still able to talk. 15 seconds ago, I'll add a little bit of impact. Whew. Looking forward to my first game of football for weeks in the morning as well. Got a feeling it might be the last one for a few weeks as well, depending on what Boris says. Okay, shake it off. There's the second one done. Fill those lungs up. Use this time to get a little breather and a drink if you need it. You do need the tins again for the next one. Okay. Naughty little exercise. Power march or chalk. Arms out the side. Circle those shoulders forward. Small circles. Keep them shoulder height. Don't let the arms drop. Shoulders are small muscles, so it does tend to tire a bit quickly. Change direction. If it gets too much, drop the arms down, give them a quick shake. What I don't want is the arms coming down to here and doing the exercise though. Try and keep it shoulder head. Take them forward again. 15 seconds to go. Those shoulder muscles should be starting to tickle a little bit now. Let's see if we can get to the finish line. Change direction for the last 10. Almost there. Good work everyone. Keep it going. Let's get there as a team. There's a the beat. Thank God. Shake the arms off again, keep the feet tapping, I'll just check the messages. Morning Judith, Susan Bennett's watching. Caesar should be there any second, Susan. 
Okay, put the tins down. We are going to do, actually we'll, we'll, we'll keep the tins involved. Half jack. Level two, there we go. Level one, do the same exercise in the chair. Level three, full jack. Now of all the exercises, the full jack is the one with the highest impact that we'll do today. So again, if you feel any joint pain, take that impact out. Still a good aerobic cardiovascular exercise. So good for your fitness. 15 seconds to go. Find that level that's going to get you all the way to the end. But we should be starting to have a sweat on now. Come on, last five seconds. Almost there. Where's that beep? There it is. Shake it off. That was a tough little bit. I knew something wasn't right. I forgot to change the cap. You can tell I'm out of practice, folks. Business time now. Okay, do not need the exercise the tins for the next exercise. Are we ready? Squat down is level two. Sit and stand is level one. Level three, squat down, touch the side of the foot. Squat, touch, squat, touch. Notice with the squat, it's all about the technique. The knees don't go too far forward, the weight's down through the heels. Stick that bum out to the back. Have a little nerf down at the floor, you should be able to see your toes. Good functional exercise. Keep it going. Come on, 10 seconds. This is a tough one though. So we need to drop level mid-exercise, that's fine. Got no issue with that whatsoever. Three, two, and one. Well done, shake it off. Grab a drink if you need it. Three exercises to go on the first lap. Keep those feet tapping in the rest period. Get the tins back out, lads and lasses. Okay. Power march or jog on the spot. Level two with the jabs. Level one seated. Level three, punch and kick with the opposite leg. Slightly more impact on the level three. So again, if it gets too much, drop it down. Get those jabs up. Try and keep the arms around shoulder height as well as we can. You can dictate the speed of the arm movement as well. So you can go faster, slower, just to mix that intensity up. When I hit the last 10 seconds, I'm going to try and take my speed up a little bit. And here it is, last 10. See if I can quicken it up. Good test of me coordination, this one. Whew. Where's the beep? There it is, shake it off. Two to go. Again, keep the feet tapping in between. Okay. If you are doing level three on this one, get your water bottle, put it on the floor. Level two, I'll set the clock away. Yeah? Side step or step touch. Can be done seated as well. You can double it up. Level three, no. It's that big step over the water bottle. Any balance issues, maybe just stick to level two. If you feel you're starting to tire during this exercise, take a step back, take a level two as well. Don't want that water bottle getting kicked all over, causing a mess. But you need to exaggerate the lift on this one, don't let the legs drop. Come on, just over 10 seconds. Then we get a little breather after the next exercise. I bet you all wish I was still in failure. Yeah? Beautiful scenery down there by the way, went to Whitby as well, beautiful little town. There's the beef, shake it off. Okay, last exercise. I'm putting one of my tins there, one there. That's for level three. Right, let's go. Power march, I try on the spot, level two. Level one's in the chair, level three is a shoulder run backwards and forwards. Make sure you've got a clear room if you're doing this exercise. Again, you can power march, power march or jog, the shuttle run, depending on how hard you feel you're working. And if it gets too much, just take it down to level two and do a march on the spot. But do get a little rest after this one. Less than 20 seconds to go. Keep it going. Good stuff, folks. Last 10. See how many shuttles we can get in if you're doing level three. Can I get back before the beat? 
Yes, I can. Right, excellent. There's half time. We'll have a minute's breather. Keep the feet moving, get some fluids on board. How's everyone after that? Still with us? Bet you haven't missed us now. Make sure you do rehydrate at this point though. So that's 20 seconds or so, we'll stop. Need your tins. Give us a thumbs up if everyone's doing okay out there. Right. All ready for lap two? Quick hour start, the quick hour finish, I suppose. Okay, off we go. With another routine. Level two, calf raise. With the front arm raise, just the shoulder height. Take to the chair, we need to. At level three, probably what you would class as a kettlebell swing, except I'm using tins of tomatoes and spaghetti instead of a kettlebell. So you don't need fancy, uh, fancy gym equipment all the time. Utilize what you have around the house. Keep the technique on the squat. I'd rather you do less properly than more with bad form or technique. Last 10 seconds. Weight down to the heels, stick the bum out. You're doing the calves, hold it for about a second at the top. Three, two, one, there we go. Okay, the card has just arrived. Hope he doesn't want to make you clear up any of Caesar's mess. Right, already. Dated. Level three is with the impact. Level two without the impact. Level one, take it to the chair. Find the level that's right for you. We need to get to that finish line today. No early finishes. We're doing the full session, so pace yourself, folks. No doubt Ken's been working your hard though, so I'm sure we'll get there, no bother. 15 seconds to go. Into the last 10, keep it going. There's the beat, shake it off. Keep the feet tapping. Tough one next. Shoulders. How I march a jog on the spot. Shoulder height. Circle forward. Circle them back. Mix it up. Don't let the arms drop. I'm going to try and keep them up for the full 45. And if you need to drop them down for a rest, do so. When I mean that, quick shake and back up though. No cheating. Clock hasn't started either. I reckon we're about 20 seconds into it, so this is an estimate. My fault, folks, if we do a bit over time. I do apologize. Right, let's say last 10, go back. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake that off. I have to win the clean and not the gardener. <laughs> I'll shut that. Good job, Caesar, not here. We're going mental. Right. Put the tins down. Tough little area of the circle. The next three. Half jack. Or you can add the tins in if you want. It's up to you. Full jack. I'll do the half jack seat. I'm going to grab the tins. Practice what I preach there. Yeah? It's a bit weird doing this with a window cleaner watching this. I'm not going to lie. Probably making a note in his book, there's a way I know, at number six, talk to himself. But, it's all good. Come on, we need to take that impact out, take it down to level two. Let's give us another ten. Three, two, 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 one, there we go, well done. Little breather. Don't need the tins for the next one. We're going to focus on the legs. Are we going to go? Level two is the squat. All about technique on the squat. Down to the heel, come out. Level one is the sit and stand. Level three, squat touch. Squat touch. Yep, the winger clean has given us some funny looks there. When he comes for his payment, I'll explain what I was doing. And that I'm not that. 20 seconds to go. 
If we're starting to tire, take the touch out, focus with a squat, or take it to sit the stand in the chair. Because this is a hard exercise. It's a very good functional exercise as well, folks. Last 10. Keep it going. Almost there. There's the beat. Shake it off. Give those legs a good shake because that was a tough one on the legs, but it's a good one. Let us see. Right, grab the tins again. Three to go. Getting closer to that finish line. Are we ready? March our jog on the spot with a quick jab, shoulder height. Take to the chair if you need to. Add a little bit of impact with a kick and punch. Test the coordination. We should be tiring a little bit, so it's fine. If we drop the level compared to the first uh, lap, that's okay. I'd rather we get to the end and peak too early, folks. I don't want it about 20 seconds to go on this one. I'm going to try and speed me punch rate up for the last 10 as well. Concentrate, get me coordination right. Yeah, it goes. Last 10. A bit quicker. Woo. Feel the heart rate going on this one. Just waiting for the beep. There it is. Shake it off. Grab a drink if you need it. Tins down. If you're doing level three, you need your water bottle again for this one. Second last exercise. We're nearly there. Okay. That started? No. There it is. Side step. Double it up. If you want a level two and a half, take the chair for level one. Level three is a big step. Over the water bottle. Get some upper body movement in if we can as well, folks. Just get you working that little bit harder. Bit of a tire though, take the arms out or again, come back and drop it a level. Don't want you kicking that water bottle all over the carpet and blaming me. Don't let the legs drop though. That's a temptation as we tire. 10 seconds to go, that's all. Almost there. Where's the beep? There it is. Right. Last exercise. Keep the feet tapping in between. I'm doing a shuttle run as part of it. So I'm putting my markers out. Right. Last one. Let's give them all we've got. How much a job? Standing or sitting? There's your level one or two. Level three, forward and back. Whew. Come on, we can push ourselves a little bit here. Just got the cool down to do after this one. It's light at the end of the tunnel. Just make sure it's a clear space. No trip hazards if we're doing level three. Got 20 seconds to go. Whew. Come on, keep it going. If you need to drop and do it standing or seated, that's fine. Stationary. I'm gonna keep going for the last 10 though. Get as many little shuttle runs in as I can. Three, can I get back? Yes, I can. Beat the beat. Right, well done, everyone. That's a tough bit done. Keep the feet tapping, grab a drink. Maybe I saw a breather. And all we've got left to do is to cool down. How's everyone feeling after that? Got a sweat on? Set you up nicely for the weekend. I'll knock that cleaner off as well. Right, so we're ready to cool off. Find a space on the floor. March it out. Not really a power march. Some arm movement, but not too high for the knees. I'm going to slowly bring that heart rate down. Get the impurities out of the muscles. Set one nicely for the weekend. Change it to a little flick kick. Bring it forward. No two match this weekend, unfortunately. International games. We made a decent start. Take it back. Caleb Wilson's a great sign I think. On the spot again. Take it into those heel dates. And let's bring this forward. Opposite arm of the leg that's moving. Pull it on the spot. Take it back again. Pull it here. March it out. From now we're just taking a little side step. Nowhere near the intensity we're doing for this in the main workout. 
nice leisurely pace. Don't open up the legs too much. From there we'll do a little touches out to the front, toe taps. Again, just have a little bit of arm sway as we do it. And then take that behind it. Should be starting to feel that heart rate coming down already, folks. Drop it back down into the march on the spot. One time one. That's still a good few minutes, actually. March it out again. Into the kicks. This time, no, we're not going to move. We're just going to stay on the spot. Lower that intensity a tad more. Into the heel digs. Opposite arm, opposite legs. Test that coordination and brain power. And my concentration levels, I suppose. March it out again. Put the hands on the hips now. So, we're just focusing on the legs. Into that side step. Again, not too wide. The fact we've took the upper body out just drops that intensity a little bit more to help with the cool down. And again, like we did earlier, toe taps out to the front. After that, what we'll do is take them behind me, we'll have a touch back, tip the toe, touch it to the floor. Back into a little gentle march, look how high my knees are coming, hardly up off the floor at all. From there, small half jack movement. And that heart rate should have dropped down now, so hopefully, march it out, we are ready for a bit of a stretch off our folks. We'll hold these stretches a little bit longer than we did in the warm up. We'll maybe add a couple extra ones in as well. So let's start with that hamstring stretch. Heel on the floor, toe up to the ceiling, bend forward at the hips until we feel it in there, your hamstring there. Hold it nice and tight, breathing all the way through. And what we'll do once we're on this side, we'll also stretch the calf off. So come up, little gentle march in between, and then take a big step back. Push the weight down through the back heel. Check both toes are pointing straight ahead. Your front knee should be above your ankle. You should feel it in the calf, like the back end of the lower leg there. Good posture on the top of the body, hold it at that point. Champion, another little march. I'll just switch sides because we're going to change legs. It's exactly the same stretches. Hamstring stretch to begin. Heel on the floor, toe up the ceiling, bend forward the hips. You should feel a nice little stretch then. Hold it at that point. Breathe it all the way through, remember, don't hold your breath. Then we'll come up. Little bit of feet movement. Then onto that calf stretch. Weight down through the back. Push the heel down, toes pointing straight ahead. Hold it at the point where you start to feel it in your calf. Nice and steady, folks. Fantastic. Give those legs a bit of a shape and we'll move on to the upper body, but keep the feet marching. We'll do the upper body, so spat to start. One hand in front of the other, chin down into the chest, straighten those arms. Oh, sorry. Feel, hug a big beach ball, should I say, to stretch your back off. Big lap muscles at the back there. Then we're going to come out of that. Then we'll posture back and work on the chest, just like we did in the warm up. Palms at the bottom of the back. Squeeze those elbows closer together, and you'll feel a nice stretch across the chest. Excellent. Shake the arms off. Just take it into a slightly wider stance. Left hand down by the side, right arm up in the air. You know about that left hand side, you feel a little stretch down the side there, hold it at that point. Come back up and switch your arms over. Lean over at the other side. As we come back up, take it into a side step. Left arm comes out. And then bring it across the front of the body, front of the chest there, and give the shoulder a little stretch. Notice where my hand is in between the elbow and wrist joints. Don't put the hand on the joint. Drop that arm down, keep the legs going. Opposite arm comes out, we'll do exactly the same thing. Almost done, folks. Take it back into a march. Hands out the front and then out to the side to stretch those biceps off a little bit. As we're doing that, let's take it a wider stance and let's take some deep breaths in. And out. And again, deep breath in. 
Breathe it out. We'll do one more full up. Deep breath in. Breathe it out. Bring your hands back to this position. And give yourselves a round of applause, everyone. Well done. How was that? Hope you all enjoyed that. Give some feedback if you got anything. I'm also back for the quiz as well. Again, it feels like ages since I've done one of them. Tough act to follow, no doubt Julie done a belter last week. So I've tried my best this week, see what you think of it. Cheers Christine, hope you enjoyed that. As usual, all the workouts go onto YouTube. So you know, if you've missed some of it, all of it will get uploaded onto there. And there's loads of other stuff on there as well as exercise and activity. There's mental health advice, there's nutrition stuff. So check it all out. Cheers Trevor, good to be back Trevor as well. Getting back into a normal routine again. Keep an eye out for our posts as well over the weekend. Apparently there's going to be a change to the lockout, uh, lockdown rules and levels on Monday. So if you're confused with that, drop me a message. We'll try and update you on the social media side of things as well. So that if you've got any queries, we'll try our best to help out. But hope you all enjoyed that, folks. I'll hang on another 10 seconds or so. The window cleaner's gone, thankfully. Probably thinks I'm some sort of... Well, I dread this thing, what he must have thought when he was looking through the wind and saw me prancing about there, to be honest. Cheers, Adele. Cheers, Carolyn. Looking forward to the quiz as well. What time one? Half ten. Two hours to get a breather. Thanks, Judith. Cheers, Maxine. Have a good weekend for those that aren't doing the quiz, but hopefully I'll see a few years in a couple hours' time. So we'll work the body, let's work the brain next. Eh? Well done, folks. Thank you.